Hi, I'm Arif Rafhan and I'm the author of Reality Beach Lab. This book is a love letter to my friends from college. Our trip together around Southeast Asia was so profound, it shaped us and molded our perspective towards our fellow ASEANs that made me think of documenting our experiences in a comic one day. About after 15 years later, I managed to do it. When we were in college, we were idealists, naive, young and stupid. So we thought we learned everything from books and the internet. I was, in, I was an IT graduate um, in 2000 and I saw the birth of the internet. The excitement of information at your fingertips was so new that I almost forgot it was nothing compared to face-to-face -face value that we experienced along the trip. It was a turning point to me. Um, my thoughts, my perspectives and mindset and this book is all about that. Well, I love road movies. I love stories that started with a person turning into a better person at the end of the movie. You know, that journey is so compelling to me that I wanted to, to make a similar story. And looking back, our trips to these countries are perfect story to tell. I also like the idea of addressing uh, heavy issues uh, using comedy and light humor. And I must reiterate, that 99% of the story in this book is legit and I am simply documenting it based on facts with a little uh, narrative modification of course however uh, the people, the reactions, the emotions in this book are real and honest Reality Beach Lab is me being naked emotionally um, at that time of age child prostitutes. I was aware of the issue when I, when I went there, but seeing it with my own eyes made my stomach churn. I felt sick seconds after I witnessed it. I felt, I felt sorry for them. Um, I tried to understand the whole situation, but I haven't fully fathomed the whole thing. To me, it was about future, the uh, future of these poor kids, uh, and it was destroyed by this sick tourists with money. Even looking back after all these years, you know, having kids on my own, I still feel sick uh, in the stomach thinking, just, just thinking about it. We did. <laughs> we are friends until now and we travel together sometimes. Well, not the whole F4 gang, but this time with our families. Uh, we love experiencing foreign world and this time we would like to share it with our kids make them learn how other people eat, play and live um, of course these trips are PG-12 uh, kind of trips but the objectives are still the same uh, to experience other cultures and livelihood one of our friends father did ask us the same question. Why don't you go, you know, um, boy trip again, relive the old days and do a sequel or something, blah, blah, blah. And we simply answered, we are done with what we wanted to do in our younger days. You know, we're done, we did it. So now we want to do it with our kids. Everybody hustles. Our experiences at the brothel, the Ronchong jamming place, the Tuk Tuk, um, and few other places made me realize that people are hustling just to survive. It's not for fame or financial glory. They need it for a pack of rice. I have since uh, made an effort to shed every inch of my prejudice and judgment towards anyone after this trip as I learned that human beings' basic desire is to survive. It was a humbling experience and a big reality bitch slap to my face 
you know, a young graduate who was about to explore the world, who knows everything, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and um, I realized that not all people are born equal. And we've got to understand that the environment, the upbringing, the socio-economy make them do what they do, even if it looks negatively uh, from our perspective.